Human being have always been fascinated by the ocean. After all, even today, we are not entirely certain about what lies beneath the waters that cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface. So, it's no wonder that the old ancient mythologies say there must be a scary dark monsters in these giant oceans. Some of the mythic sea monsters story depend on their location or countries or tribe that the monsters exist. So relax, we are going to tell you monsters we have in the ocean and waters around the world. Number one, Mamed is a monster's water that lives in the ocean and water. Mamed is a creature with a woman's head and upper body and a tail of fish. She is known as Mother of Fish. Some countries in West Africa, especially Nigeria and the people of Yoruba tribe worship this monster as Lord of Fish. Number two, Sitohul. It wouldn't be a proper sea monster list without touching on at least a few of the Quamos entities. Sitohu is a, probably the old giant famous monster's creation. People say this monster resembles an octopus, a dragon, and a woman caricature. Number three, Dagon. Dagon is a very powerful water monster that lives in the ocean. Dagon is a deity from an ancient times. Number four, Ebira. Ebira is a giant coastal sea. Dangerous monsters controlled by an evil organization known as Red Bamboo. Ebira later reappear. Ebira is officially similar to the monster Gaminimes. Number five, Giganto. Greatest super heroes. Lumpy monsters, many of whom came out of the sea. Giganto is a memorable name given to a race of giant whale with arm and legs who have the Atlantean attack the super surface world. Number six, Kraken. Sea monster's name can be confusing, and the Kraken is a prime example. The word Kraken comes to us from Norway, where it means an unhealthy or twisted animal. Kraken was a woman of sea monsters with tentacles like arms and a fishy tail. The mythology Kraken more than closely resembles a giant squid. Number 7. Otoa. There are loads of giants and not so giant sea monsters from the giant octopus. Of it came from the beneath the sea. More recent creatures which resemble octopus. Number 8. Sila and Shabidis. Something of a mad set. Sila and Shabidis also come to us from Greek mythology, specifically the Odyssey, two monsters dwelling on each side of the Straits of Messina. Sila represent the dangers of the rocky shore, depicting a variety of ways, including a woman with a dragon like tail and a dog head sprouting from her body. Shabdis represent a deadly white pool. The two monsters mean the same thing between a rock and a hard place. Number 9, Siren. Famed for luring unwary sailors to match their ship upon the rocks. The Siren are known for their lovely and enchanting song, with which their names have become virtually synonymous. In which the Siren are portrayed as a sort of living water taking a humanoid form. Number 10. The terrible duckfish. Terrible duckfish, a giant ocean monster, also known as the Attila of fish and fisherman. According to descriptions, the shark like fish is larger than five story building and has three row of teeth in its enormous mouth, which is plentiful big enough to swallow sheep. 11. Jomugandi. Jomugandi is also known as the Midgar serpent because it is so long that it wraps all the way around the world and it can hold tail and in its mouth. Number 12 Sea Bishop. According to the sea monster myths and legend, the sea bishop or bishop fish was caught taken to the king of Poland who showed it to a group of Catholic bishops. When the bishops released the creatures, 
it means the sign of cross before disappear back to the sea. The bishop fish is a type of fish that looks like a man, especially a Catholic bishop. Number 13, Lion Turtle. This mystical sea monster exists in the world of Avatar, the last airbender. This gigantic half chimera, half turtle animal is pretty benevolent. This monster gives the ability to bend fire and water and air. Number 14, Real Dosarius. A sea monster that fall in love with a lightning house, Fogon. Idosaurus is a monster made up of dinosaur that is awoken from abernation. This Idosaurus fall in love with Fogon station and lighthouse. Number 15, Yumibozu. In Japan, this sea monster were pure nightmare fuel for sailor who believe in the myth surrounding this creature. Yumibozu is a giant shadowy, humanoid-like monster who terrorize sailor who are unlucky to cross its path during a voyage. Number 16, Capricorn. Capricorn, this monster usually has its truth in Greek mythology. Capricorn have the face and upper body of a giant goat and tail of fish, making it capable of swimming to the shore. Number 17, Gyarados. This intimidating sea monster was appeared many times throughout. Gyarados thrive in both fresh and salt water, and this infamous known for its bad temper and destructive nature. Gyarados resemble sea monsters like serpent, sea monster serpent, and dragon. 18. Vodianoi. Vodianoi are water spirit who takes on the form of naked old man with a frog-like face. After spending so much time in fresh water and salt water, this green creature tends to have moss, agate, and other growths like plants all over their body, giving them a distinct green color. They are very gentle and sometimes you can see them swimming along the shore. Number 19, Leviathan, Hebrew in origin. This terrifying sea monster is often drawn and described as being a water reptilia of some often immensely immensely large in large in size the leviathan appear in the old testament he upgrade from sea serpent to sea dragon from sea dragon to giant crocodile in the ocean leviathan is the witch monster of the sea of the ocean number 20 sigmoid the sea monster not all sea monsters are scary of course in fact this mean monster was a sea monster named sigmoid who got in trouble with his sea monster's family. 21. The Sea Serpent. The Sea Serpent is a monster of the ocean. It will symbol snakes and dragon. Its name Sea Serpents. These are all sea monsters we have. Some of these scary creatures are not so real, they are mysteries, myths, and history. Ancient stories with all these sea monsters you, you mentioned, you think that sailors are into trouble, right? Relax, sailors are not in trouble. Some of them are fake histories that people believe to be real. And remember, whatever you believe in have effect on you. So thanks for today and for watching.